The name of the movie is Usagi. In the beginning, we are shown two gamblers who were playing gambling. One of them was Baku, while the other was the leader of a famous Kakiro club. Now where these two were gambling was the club Kakiro. This was the most famous club in Japan. It had produced many famous gambling games. Many people from the government were also included in this club. This organization was so strong that the government could also be challenged here. Here, Baku challenges the leader of this club directly, and he says that if he loses in this game, then he can also kill him. But the club leader tells someone else to play in his place. Their game had started. The referee here tells them that your game is that you just have to think and tell whether a plane will pass within an hour from here or not. Here, Baku says that the plane will pass within an hour from here, but the Kakiro club was so powerful that they stopped all the flights. Because of this, no plane could pass from there. The trap that Baku had played, that is, the plane he had hired to pass from here, did not pass because the club leader had also killed his pilot. Baku loses this game. His defeat was announced. Because of this, according to Baku, if he loses, he can kill him. The referee takes out his gun and starts killing him. Then the leader here refuses him. Baku will leave this city and go somewhere else. And his membership was also terminated at Kakiro Club. After this, the scene shifts, and we are shown the time after three years, when we see Baku roaming around in a small town. Now he had come to a group of people who were gambling. There was a man among them whom no one was able to defeat. Baku bet one million dollars here and won the game. But the man who was winning the game repeatedly, Baku, also brings the secret of that man in front of everyone. All the people who were playing with him are now killing him. In the evening, Baku meets a friend of his who tells him that there is someone like you who wants to defeat the leader of Kakiro Club. Like Baku tried three years ago. He is a researcher. His name is Iki. There was a big blast in his lab in which all his colleagues were killed. Now Iki wants to defeat the leader of the Kakiro Club and take the highest position. After hearing all this, Baku also decides to go back to Tokyo, Japan because he also wanted to take revenge for his defeat from the leader of the Kakiro club. After this, we are shown a gambling game. Iki was sitting and playing with the minister, but very soon, he defeats the minister. The minister was very angry about this. He tells his colleagues to kill the referee of the game, because he felt that the referee had helped Iki. When the minister attacked, the referee was also very good at fighting. He kills the minister's men in a little while. After that, the same referee goes to Iki and offers to be his assistant, on which Iki also agreed. On the other hand, we see Baku, who has reached Tokyo. There, he meets a boy named Keiji. Keiji was a very good person, but due to the betrayal of his friends, he had incurred a huge debt. Baku feels very bad about his condition, and he tells him that if he wants, I can help him pay his debt. Keiji, who was very worried, agrees with his words. In the evening, they both go to a club with Baku's friend. Here, Whatever money Baku had, he played a game with it and won the game with his cleverness. Everyone in the club was very surprised at Baku's victory. His friend was also surprised at his victory because he had won five million dollars. On the other hand, we see Keiji, who is very happy with his friend. He gives all his money to Keiji so that he can pay off his debt and spend his life easily. Baku had given him all the money, said goodbye, and left, because he could not put Keiji's life in danger like this. After this, we see Keiji, who had paid off all his debt but now had no other purpose in his life. That's why he was also very bored with his life. On the other hand, we see Baku, who has now reached Iki. He challenges him to play a game with him. But now Baku is not a member of Kakeru Club, so Iki forbids him to play a game with him. After which, Baku goes to his friend in the club. He asks for help from him because he wants to become a member of the Kakeru Club again. His friend tells Baku that you will have to find someone who will give you membership in the club with his own will. Only then can you become a member of the Kakeru club again. His friend tells him about an old man who had membership in the Kakeru club. She says that a man can be useful to you, but he is a little crazy. You will have to meet him carefully. He is the one who can give you his membership. Baku's friend tells him something else. He heard half of it and left. Now, when Baku was leaving, he met Keiji again who told him again that I wanted to live with you again. Now he has a plan to meet the old man. Baku's friend told him about it. His plan was that both of them would become poor near the old man. Now they do the same. Their plan was successful. The old man offers them gambling, seeing their condition. After which, he brought them to his house, which was in a jungle. The old man tells them about the game, 
they will have to catch some of his animals, and for that they will be given some time. If you succeed in doing this, I will give you $10 million as a reward. Here Baku meets the referee, who came from the Kakiro Club. Baku tells the old man that if I win this game, I don't want money, I want your membership. The old man agreed with what Baku said. Before the game starts, Baku gives a pen gift to the referee, which was not a normal pen, it had a microphone in it so that the referee and the old man the game had started. Baku and KG went to the jungle to find the old man's animals. They find out that the one they have to find is not an animal but a companion of the old man, who also has guns. They had to compete with him. Here, Baku records the old man's voice on his device with the help of his pen. He now uses his voice to call his companions, killing them one by one. When they go a little further, Baku and KG's companions, who had ropes to trap them, trap them in them, wear their clothes, and find the rest of the people. Thus, before the time was up, Baku and KG had completed the game. The old man was very angry about this because he could not let Baku win. So he calls another man there, who was no one else but his son, who had turned into a monster due to some disease. But he had a weakness, which Baku and KG saw coming towards them. They both get scared and run away from there, hiding in a warehouse where they get medicine to make them unconscious. Seeing this, Baku now had an idea. He now uses that medicine to make the old man's son unconscious. After a while, he was able to get a membership card from the old man. That is, he had won this game before the time was up. Now when the referee comes to him, he congratulates KG on becoming a member of Baku's club. But KG was quite surprised to hear this. Here we find out that the leader of Kakiro Club has cancelled Baku's membership forever. And this was the reason why Baku had brought KG with him, so that he could be useful in his game. That's why Baku gave his revenge membership to KG. KG, who was refusing to take the referee's membership, but here the referee says, you don't worry, KG goes to the old man's son. He takes off his mask and sees that he is not a monster, but he was trained to look like one. But he was still a common man. Baku now takes off his mask and offers to join him. The old man's son also joined his team. Next, we are shown Iki's lab. Here we find out what actually happened to his companions. Iki's inventive invention made her want to tell other countries about it without any money. But the government of that country did not allow him to do so. So he sends a gift for Iki in the lab, where there was a bomb, because of which all Iki's companions were killed. And in that accident, his eyes went away. Iki was blind. That's why he wanted to take revenge on the government of that country by becoming a member of the Kakiro Club. That day had also come when Baku and Iki's game would start. Everyone was watching them live, including Baku's friend. As soon as Baku and Iki came to the club, everyone was very excited to see them. At the same time, Iki's assistant scares Keiji. And by mistake, by firing bullets from his gun, he spoils the camera there. The people who were watching them online bet money on them. And at the same time, they also decide the punishment for the loser, in which the punishment was that the loser would be hanged with his partner. Meanwhile, we also see the leader of Kakiro Club, who was very happy to see how much money people have invested in his game. His gambling game had started. The referee tells every player that he will have to take a card from his opponent without seeing it and then match those cards with his own. He also tells about the same cold mate cards, which had a total of 5 numbers. If a player has a total of 11 numbers, then he will lose. Here, the referee also says that you can use any trick, but the condition is that the other player does not know anything. The first round begins, in which only one card is taken. While Baku chooses the cold mate card for the first time, everyone was worried to see this, but Baku was not worried at all. He was feeling very relaxed. The second time Baku took the wrong card, he was very close to losing. Seeing this, his friend and KG were very worried because they had invested all their money in Baku. The third time Baku took the cold mate card, he had a total of 10 cards. Now that the last round begins, Baku will know about Iki's move. He was able to see his card with the help of a device. That's why Baku eats his favorite biscuit and starts playing the last round. He had come to know that Iki was able to see everything with the help of cameras. Although he was blind, someone had put such a device inside him that was attached to the CCTV cameras. Here Baku now starts playing his move. He sees Iki's cards. He keeps Iki ahead, and Iki takes those cards. Now Iki's points were less, and Baku's were getting more. When Iki's assistant sees that Baku is cheating, she starts telling her boss, but no one can help anyone here. That's why the referee tells him to be quiet. Baku had won the game, and he also told everyone about Iki, saying that he had cheated in all the games. Now, seeing all this, 
Icky's assistant was getting angry, he was going to attack Baku, and in this fight, Icky's assistant is killed, now that the loser was to be hanged, this happened with Icky and his partner, but before dying, Icky accepted his defeat, at the end of the story, we see Baku and his companions, who were going to the gambling arena, and with this, this story ends here.